Jim here. We're going to talk about the G1000 Universal Fuzzy Strips. Again, three foot lengths, 7 16 wide, come from steel rubber products with a stainless steel trim. So this is the follow-up on the video. These inner and outer, they're all bent. You can see these. I have them all bent. Okay. See that? There you go. If you don't watch this, you're going to be in a world of hurt. And I mean it because a lot of people just don't know how to install things. Uh, call Steel Rubber Products and I did this. They will not tell you how to do it. They just recommend that you either use screws. And they actually say these words, tiny little screws. I've called the sales department and, and it just argued with them. They say, oh, uh, you can glue it in. That's not right. You, the factory were clips. I'm going to show you that hole right there. That was the factory clip. Okay, these are actually uh, pretty impossible to find. I know there's a few companies that have them. I actually had purchased um, a lot of like 40 in a in a brand new bag. They, it says you know they'll fit 50s uh, Chevy cars, Corvettes, things like that. But this one's different. These clips are only 7 16 wide. The clips that I had purchased were measuring 5 8 to 9 16 area. Uh, they're way too big. Um, and they, they were uh, a lot longer than the factory ones. So forget that nonsense. So you go to Steel Rubber Products to get these as a set. Uh, here's a question if anybody has one. Yes. You bend these by hand, okay? In the end, uh, if you use the pliers on those, they will uh, mash the end. Only on the edge, but I don't do that until after I get the new window run channel in. You uh, kind of basically either uh, mash it with a, a, a hammer and a dolly. I'll use a... Um, non knurled pair of pliers basically smooth machine is smooth and just crimp the ends and those tuck in right in here so forget about that shit you'll figure that out but i'm going to show you how to uh that i've already attached this and i've taken it off let's see if this comes out they recommended little little tiny screws that's what their honest words were little tiny screws uh, this is, I believe, a number four machine screw Phillips. Nickel plated. Um, eventually, these will tarnish or rust if you're not careful, if you mar them all up. So, uh, I'm going to have to uh, order stainless ones. That's what I recommend, a high-grade stainless like 318. But this is why you do it before the paint. You see all those nicks? all the way down okay all in here can you imagine if that was painted i mean look at this one this all has to be sanded out it's all scuffed up now and that's why we do this before the paint this is all shitty ass paint we're gonna sandblast this clean this will you'll not see any of this once i do all the filler and get all the body lines up nice so basically i take the smallest drill bit that i have in my uh arsenal and I hold this I hold this inside there like this and you drill a little hole and what you do is you get that little hole pre-drilled now this is sheet metal so it's gonna go real quick and easy and then you want to hand thread that baby in there just like a regular sheet metal screw you put that in and you bury that, you bury that through the mohair, okay? Focus, you bastard, focus. So you see the little hole through there. You want to bury that through the mohair, and it goes on the other side. And, and this is, a, this is a, like a metal, extruded metal with rubber and mohair. So it's all together. You want to go through all three materials. You got the idea, you go through all three materials, you go into the steel, and that cinches it down. And then you take this lip, that's right here, 
and that lip goes right on the top of this edge okay that stainless reveal goes right on the top of the edge all the way down to the other side now on this one this is a custom modified uh, one piece glass window so all of this steel that I had to put in here is 14 gauge thick okay 14 gauge is very heavy so these little screws you're gonna go through a shitload so you gotta get a box or two because if you don't drill that hole the perfect diameter it's either too loose or you can't get the screw in so it has to be perfect there's no in between it's it has to be perfect so you find the right drill just below the threads of that screw and it looks big on a camera, but this is a tiny, tiny little screw. Once you screw this in, it's totally disappeared. The mohair, because you can see how it's quite thick, right? About a quarter inch thick. That little screw actually disappears inside there. So you'll never see that. Depending on the model of the vehicle, like I did a Pontiac, <laughs> Excuse me, I did a Pontiac and the, the screws were a little bit bigger uh, than this one. Uh, I did see those screws, so I ended up paint, painting them black inside the mohair. And uh, they look good in the end. You did, you never even seen them. So if you run into that case, you have to use a bigger screw. Some, some reveals require a bigger screw. But in this one, the smallest of the smallest screw, like a number four or a number three if you can get a metric ones is even better so that's the follow-up on the video okay custom fuzzy strips for a g1000 handy van gmc one piece glass remove the vent window to save yourself several thousand dollars and in the end more headaches it just looks and feels better anyways with a one-piece window man driving around with this thing with one glass on it and black tint is going to be it's going to be exceptional so have a good day